This channel is proudly partnered with the What The Funk shop. Please check out their store for all sorts of products. They have dice, miniatures, game master screens, home decorations, and many other things. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And make sure that you use my code for a special discount. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Raven. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this storytelling RPG hybrid game based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the magic arts of the Order, starting with Majeya, but first let's talk about the arts themselves. The magic arts are disciplines stemming from the knowledge of the Order. They cover different areas of knowledge, passion and tenebrosity. To learn an art in this game, players must have completed all the boxes from their learning path and then choose an advance to a new art. The character must undergo an initiation, linked to the art, which may entail a sinister sacrifice. These sacrifices, added to those required to progress in the circles of magic power, mean that a person of high rank and power in the Order has had to pay a terrible price to reach their position and knowledge. We start with Majeya, a more basic and less powerful art than the others, but don't be fooled, it can also be very versatile. It allows the user to perform everyday actions with elements from the physical world, but in a way that would normally require some help. The effects of Majeya are not spectacular and follow the same premises of elegance and discretion of all magic in Raven. When it comes to the risk, the reality of the person using it will be uncontrollably or dangerously altered. Concerning initiation, Escape from the basement of a cursed and dilapidated mansion in the war district without recourse to ordinary means. When it comes to the formulation, it requires something physical to be channeled through, normally the object affected by that magic. Sacrifices in this magic could involve sacrificing an important day or night, something very dear to you, or destroying something useful, perhaps something unique, or handing over something dear to someone, or even turning something you own into something harmful. These are just a few examples. This concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about decadence. When it comes to Majeya, this is about subtle manipulation and alteration of the environment. You cannot create something out of nothing, and you cannot manipulate living beings. But yes, you can perform any action that could be carried out in the physical world, given the appropriate means, perhaps pushing something in a very subtle way, manipulating an object, creating a crack in a bottle, or perhaps even emptying the bullets from the chamber of a firearm. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member and enjoying exclusive content and activities. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.